it's all about. They're gonna pull out all the stops to give the fans the best. And make it better. I tried for years to, to make Matt, Matt Riddle versus Loki a match. It wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't it gonna happen to for be. me. It wasn't gonna happen for anybody else. And now the man that made this event possible, a legend in the ring, a legend in that octagon, the incredible Josh Barnett, a man so down with metal, he was wearing a creator shirt the last time I saw him, which is notable. because they wanted to be separated. Here we go! Main event time at Bloodsport. Those are two bad dudes. This is an absolute dream match for purists. Barnett and Suzuki. I mean, hey, we all want to have a good time. The beer has been flowing yes. all day at the White Eagle. Beer and mixed drinks. <laughs> Barnett and Suzuki with the test of strength right in the center of the ring, right on that collective logo. A whole weekend of incredible shows coming up, but this is the main event of the second show and arguably the most anticipated show of today. In the early stages of a match like this, you often see the, this kind of feeling out process. It's just guys going for what they can here, seeing what they can get in and where it fits in. Well, you, you're, uh, strength and str you're assessing strength and weaknesses, not only of physical attributes, but in terms of skill set too. You can't make that one big, you can't make the first big mistake, because it might be the only mistake you make. Absolutely, yeah, it only takes one mistake. Especially when you're in there with people like the caliber of Minoru Suzuki and the caliber of Josh Barnett. I just you got a kiss from Hornswoggle, right? and I like it. Swoggle. Watching Josh Barnett fight Minoru Suzuki, this is wild. Weird stuff, people. Only a game changer. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I do believe that Joey Janela said that uh, Game Changer Wrestling had secured a venue for Tampa for next year. Wow. But I thought it was uh, decreed that no one would be able to run independent events next weekend, you're not, next year. You're not stopping Game Changer Wrestling. Game Changer Wrestling should run against WrestleMania next year. They'll probably outdraw them. Barnett. Oh, here we go. 
Let's see it! Shit's starting to pop off here. The kid gloves starting to come off. Still very conservative uh, effort from both guys. Again, you can't you can't make that mistake. Right, right, right. Oh, Barnett, man, he said he might get his head popped off his shoulders. Look how red his face. Jeez. When we saw Tim Thatcher turn that red, it was just a few seconds hey, away he from he only had a, Yeah, exactly. Barnett trying to neutralize the legs right here. Don't think that he's going to be able to get a submission from this position, but he could transition. And hopefully maybe we'll just weaken some of those strikes, some of those kicks that Suzuki's famous for. Suzuki grabbing a hold of that foot of Barnett. And look at the intensity. I mean, we've got some of the best videographers, ringside photographers. I mean, some of the images that are going to be produced. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Barnett finds a way to take the pressure off. Fluid, 250 pounds, just floating over like that. You gotta be kidding me. Moving like a flash of lightning. I had an opportunity to sit in on Barnett's uh, training seminar that he did last night and just seeing how quickly he can move in practice and it only heightens how fast he is when, that, when it really counts. Yeah. Yep. Whatever the capacity is, whatever fire code allows, that's how many wrestlers should have been here yep. learning under Josh Barnett last night. Minoru. Trying to get some feeling back into his hands. Oh, what a showman! Nothing scarier than a dude that can kick your ass and talk shit. And that evil smile of Suzuki, too, it's got to send chills down the spine of Josh Barnett. Five minutes have elapsed in the time limit, 15 minutes remain. Wow. You get in your opponent's head, they don't stand a chance. End of story. Absolutely, yeah. They don't pay rent and you don't stand a chance. The perils of having people live inside your head rent free. Barnett's got the left leg. Oh, wait a minute. Suzuki's struggling here. Suzuki, though. Oh, God. Barnett's in a lot of trouble. Barnett might need to get out of the ring. Oh, no. Barnett's so quick to try to alleviate that pressure. Oh, no. Just incredible body control from somebody that's 250 pounds. Barnett, keep, Barnett keeps rolling through to try to just keep the pressure off those joints. But Suzuki just having a clinic here. This could be it, this could be it! <laughs> Referee's right there, Barnett. <laughs> Barnett trying to release pressure. See, Barnett's got his hands up, but I can't see much more than that, DC. This is really, I mean, we've had the best seat in the house all night. Front row, on the stage, to be able to call all the action for everybody watching live on Fight TV. As Bartnett transitioning to an advantageous position, he's gonna be going on the attack. Trying to free that arm of Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki's in a lot of pain right Wait here. Wait a minute. his feet, but not tapping on the net. This will wow. continue. How tough is he? Suzuki's evil brain sending that tap signal to his leg, which makes it meaningless, because if it was his hand that tapped, it would have been over. Suzuki's got no quit in him, but neither does Barnett. Never. The official asking him, it's not gonna happen. Not only is it no, the answer from Minoru Suzuki is never. He will never give up. You might have to kill him to beat him here tonight. And even then, I'm not sure if his soul, if his spirit or his legacy would give up. His physical coil may, but the soul of Minoru Suzuki will never die, will never say quit. Look at the determination on Barnett's face. Sweat pouring like a faucet. Oh, he's trying to go for that full Nelson, couldn't get it on Barnett. Oh no. Suzuki yet again in control of the war master, Josh Barnett. The power of Barnett! Bad landing.
landing right on the back of the head and the shoulder. You know, wrestlers train for, for years to, to try and brace for falls. To, so that doesn't happen. So that doesn't happen. You want to try and land at as a flat a surface as possible. When you come down at an awkward angle like that, that's when you can dislocate a shoulder. That's when you can pop a, you know, oh, no. a vertebrae in your neck. Right in front of us right here. Not able to land a clean strike. Changing up the strategy once again. These two competitors so evenly matched. Talk about a dream fall. Oh my God. Wait a second. Suzuki. Cinching it in. Could this be it for the War Master just Barnett? It's just a matter of time. Barnett's gonna get out of here or he's gonna go home a loser. Oh no. Barnett got out of the one, part of the one hole, but may have found himself in an even worse position, DC. I mean, just look at the way that his right leg is bent at the knee. Yeah, your knee isn't supposed to bend that way. It's supposed to go forward and back, not side to side. Suzuki now like a shark, oh. smelling blood in the water. He wants to go home. That case, Barnett still with us? Minoru Suzuki could be in the closing moments of this match. Barnett just trying to shake it off. Suzuki, 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 Suzuki. Barnett unloaded. Oh. Suzuki so gifted as a striker as well. We focus so much on his submissions. Oh no! Brain to right there. Repeated shots to the head by Barnett. Just grabbed him by the head and threw him over. Held on too and then rolled through. Minoru still indicating he will not give up and of course there are no pins here. This is blood sport. Josh Barnett's namesake event. If, Minos, if Minoru Suzuki picks, picks up another win, easy for me to say, in the main event here tonight, you're going to think about uh, perhaps reconsidering what it's called next year. Absolutely. It's Minoru Suzuki's blood sport. Oh! Suzuki! Oh, oh, Is that it? Even with his eyes shut, you can see them rolling back in his head. Oh, no. This could be all. This is the exclamation point. Barnett's, I think, out already. It's getting ugly. It's getting ugly. Can't get him over. Barnett able to just use that lower center of gravity to barely keep himself on the ground. I think the key right here is Barnett's uh, the position of his left arm. Oh, that was a close call. Wow. Oh, now just trying to kick him in the back of the head, stomp on his face. Came very close to being pile drive there, and just seconds later, Barnett back in control. Wait a second, Barnett. Oh, and there you see the face being munched in the back of the wrist. How can he even breathe like that? Could this be it? Barnett got him locked in. The difference is going to be the fans here in the White Eagle. They want to see a Suzuki win here tonight at Bloodsport. They want to see Suzuki go all the way, but he may be going all the way unconscious here in a second. Oh, he this seems is about as fading. close as it gets. Levin's right in there. Suzuki. Suzuki's eyes are starting to sh get shiny a little bit here. His eyes look glassy to me, Drew. I can't believe it. The brain of Minoru Suzuki may be unconscious, but the body of Minoru Suzuki fights on. Talk about discipline. These guys probably both feel like they've been in a car accident. 
The sweat dripping, dripping from the body of Bar Josh Barnett as he's driven powerfully to that canvas. That's going to buy Suzuki some time. He got the separation that he needed. But can he capitalize? Suzuki heading outside the, the ring. Floor? Maybe he didn't even know where he is. And the official checking on him. That would be a shame to see it called at this moment. Absolutely. But it wouldn't be surprising. Anything, literally anything can happen here. Keeping Barnett in the ring, but Barnett's going to be frustrated because he knows that if Suzuki is able to continue, I mean, this is valuable time being spent recovering. Absolutely. But on, this, on the flip side, Barnett seems to be using this time as well to recover. Barnett. To your point. To your point. We want to see a decisive winner. Suzuki trying to get a chair. Thankfully, the management here at Game Changer thought uh, well enough in advance to zip tie those chairs together to prevent them from being used in an unsanctioned fashion in this competition today. The sweat, the sweat pouring off Barnett. I'm not sure if Minoru was playing a little bit of possum there. It doesn't look like it. The kicks to the inside of the thigh, that wasn't possum, that was desperation. Oh, wait a second. What the hell? He just took a kick at the referee. Yeah, I don't think he connected, though. Minoru Suzuki, one of the most intimidating people in the world. Not just in fighting, just in the world, period. Referees totally lost control of this. We're not allowed to have these guys... leading with these people. Come closer. Oh, fuck. That's it. It's over. It's over, but there's nobody to call for the bell. Unreal. Uh oh, Barnett is pissed. As he should be. This is now a main event more than controversy. Josh Barnett and Suzuki fighting outside the ring here. Photographers scrambling for position. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the match is over. There's nobody to call it. We're keeping this going without a ref? We saw Bryce Remsberger first the decision in the opening contest when Phil Baroni went after him. That was the right move to make. If, if Chris Levin comes conscious, I think he's gonna call this one. I'm sorry. Referee may be letting uh, discretion be the better part of valor here for the main event and giving it a little bit of leeway. I'm not sure. We won't know until he regains consciousness. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get hit by Minoru Min Min Suzuki. Gonna be out for more than five minutes. I'm just gonna. Here's the duration of this one. Crowd, like you said, very much behind Suzuki. Barnett, so much power and size, and using it all there to just get Suzuki back down to the canvas. So, I mean, what's the deal here? Are we gonna get another official out here or what? We got a medic. The doctor coming to ringside. Chris Levin favoring the back of his head. Got a medic checking on the ref, but no one's checking on Suzuki here. And the medic call in the back. What is going on? And nevertheless, Barnett and Suzuki continue to fight. Yeah. Wow. Awkward landing of the left leg. Beautiful release suplex there by Barnett. The referee seems to be getting his legs back under him. He's getting in the ring to call it, right? I don't know. I don't know if he's giving it, giving it a little leeway here. I thought that strike and the ensuing chair shot that the ref didn't see will be it, but the ref can't call what he doesn't see. Suzuki may have hit him so hard he doesn't remember what happened. Titans of the fight game. No quit in either one of them. Back to a standing position now. Suzuki showing a little bit signs of damage there from those blows. Suzuki on spaghetti legs here. He's about to take a tumble to the floor. Minoru Suzuki, did you you 
saw it, Drew, the, the look on his look face. I've ever seen in my life. Pure evil. Suzuki marking the spot. It looked like somebody popped a water balloon. That's a man's head. It looked like Old Faithful erupting. Barnett again with that strike. <laughs> Stun silence. And now these behemoths are trading blows quite evenly once again. Now Barnett's gonna put more mustard behind him if he wants to match Suzuki. Suzuki firing up, which causes Barnett to fire up. Oh, one of these guys is gonna be bleeding. Headbutt. Headbutt by Barnett, answered by Suzuki. 60 seconds on the clock, DC. Timing and instincts can be everything. Didn't get his hand up for that one. Time rapidly running out here for both competitors. Suzuki indicating he does not want five more minutes. Asking the crowd to be quiet. Five more minutes! I stand corrected. Holy shit. You'd never see this in an athletic commission state. Both guys gonna be running on fumes at this point. Absolutely, they put it all on the line. All the gas that was in the tank got used up in that explosive 60 second finale. Oh! Oh shit! Scrambled your brains! Oh! Suzuki shaking it off! Barnett doesn't even know what to do. He thought that was the kill shot. Barnett not done yet. Look at an, un an unorthodox pro. Instead lands with a German suplex. Who can stop Minoru Suzuki? Today, White Eagle, Game Changer Wrestling, Bloodsport, nobody! Barnett. Suzuki, Suzuki, Suzuki. Suzuki in trouble here. Suzuki fighting with every essence of his being to escape that hold. But it may all be for naught. And if Josh Barnett's able to pull this one off with all the theatrics aside, I mean, he really is the better fighter here today. Absolutely. He should have been awarded this match about 15 minutes ago. Very true. Talked about an undisputed victory, but Suzuki's not staying down. Suzuki biting. Anything you gotta do to break that hold and create some separation. Oh! Ref showing a ton of leeway here for the main event. Maybe too much. Wow. Biting the foot and placing him in a submission at the same time. 
Referee. What makes you think Suzuki's gonna let go of the hold now? Yeah, he has no reason to. The referee's already shown his true colors. Correct. He's already demonstrated that you can strike him, you can disrespect him. Whatsoever. I mean, it's a miracle he's even back in the ring. If I got hit by the Noro Suzuki, you'd be, digging, you'd be digging my grave right now. Absolutely. Be calling a funeral home. Some trash talking Japanese. Here we go again. Irresistible force and immovable object. Two minutes remain. Barnett with that guillotine. Oh no. Now that's a pro wrestling hold through and through. Suzuki has it locked. There you go. Could this be it for the... Barnett's going to walk him over and dump him off the ring or he's going to be done. Oh, no. Barnett was able to... Oh, no. Barnett in a lot of trouble. Now, there's supposed to be no small joint manipulation. That's a bit of a gray area as far as I'm concerned. Oh, that's it. That's it. Barnett's going to give it up. That chicken wing style hold on the arm combined with the choking effect of the legs, that's gotta be it. Barnett finds a way out. One minute left in overtime. These fans wanna see a winner. They wanna see a definitive winner. I don't know if either man has it in him. Seems like the only thing you could do is knock out your opponent. Neither of these guys is gonna quit. Both men jockeying for position here. Suzuki comes up with it. Barnett's head dangerously close to that ring apron. If Suzuki gets a submission victory here. It should be called off. Come on, referee. Let's get some separation. Show some balls. Suzuki's still not releasing that hold. And now what's going to happen? A situation like this, obviously, it's up to the discretion of the competitors. 100%. They did the full time limit. They did the additional five minutes of overtime. This is unprecedented. Just inform me, this is a time limit draw. Now, if anything, this should be a disqualification victory for Barnett. Barnett gets the moral victory, like you said. Both men, though, look like a million bucks here in front of the whole world. Game changer wrestling's blood sport. Part of the collective, we saw a myriad of first time ever dream matches tonight. And we saw a war of the legends between these two men. Before we sign off here, thank you everybody watching on Fight TV. Hop on Twitter, hashtag the collective, hashtag Bloodsport. Let us know what you think the fight of the night was. Minoru Suzuki letting everyone know this is Bloodsport.